What's up YouTube? Today I'm working on this beautiful 2004 BMW Z4. In this episode I'm going to show you how to fix your convertible top if it doesn't work at all. You can hear your front motor but your light is flashing when you try to open the top. So this is common issue in these cars. Usually hydraulic motor is burned so I will try to replace the motor without moving the whole top. So uh, if not, I have to move the top and replace as well. So follow me and I'll show you how to fix that issue. So first what I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna open the trunk and move this move this shelf and I will see if we if I can get to the motor motor should be on that left side So guys, to move the shelf, you just need to pop uh, three kind of clips right there on one side, and the same thing on this side. And this shelf is going to come off. So there is our motor and I try to get it from here from the trunk and we will see if I can get it. So how you can see someone tape it before and it's all wet, it should be full of water. Here is the motor and I just reach it from the back, I don't have to move the top.
so guys this is our motor how you can see it's full of water because it's located in a spot where is the drain line from the convertible top going and water always gonna be here so we're gonna replace the motor and relocate <clears throat> this pump to the different place that is never gonna get rusty or get water so guys that was much easier than I thought all those videos on YouTube it's showing like you need to move your top to get to the <clears throat> hydraulic pump so how you can see it's possible to do it from the trunk and I got the new motor from eBay this is how it looks like I'm gonna replace it I'm gonna leave link in the description below part number a link that you can buy it for yourself so let's put it in and see if it's gonna help so guys it's T25 <clears throat> So guys, if you get the motor like that, without this top piece, what you need to do, you need to take the pipe or socket, stuff like that, that your pump gonna fit here. And you take the hammer and you tap on this part and this should come off and you will see two bolts inside you need to move them take apart this one over there how you can see you need to take them off move this cap move this mechanism and put this part on top of new motor and tight those two bolts So I separate this part. Now I'm gonna take the new one, move this part, and screw it back in. To do that, you see those pins, you just need to tape them back and this cap with everything should come off.
the I took it off this part and looks like there's no way to put the screw in it so don't buy this kind of a motor for the Z4 just buy one with this part there's gonna be whole thing you just put it in in the car and it's good to go so I I try to I'll try to work something out with this I'm gonna try if it works and I'm gonna reorder another one and put it in all right guys I have complete part now and now I'm gonna put it in and try and see how it's gonna work So guys, this is kind of fluid that I'm using now. You can search a little more and find the right one, but let's see if it's gonna work with this. So guys, make sure you have your shelf back in the place. Should be, it should be down to open the 
top and this latch if you want to open manual you can switch this but it should be in a place like that all right guys let's see how it's gonna work So total cost on this fix was around $100. So try to check if your motor is bad before you give it to some mechanics. You can do it by yourself. You don't have to take all the roof out. It's possible to do from the trunk. And guys, that's it. We're all set and good to go.